What's up, everybody? My name's Evan, and I'm here with your Monday edition of The Den. <laughs> Fuck yeah! Wasn't that shit awesome? Props to the Wednesday Bear Aaron for putting that together for us. Now we have an official intro. Is that legit or what? Alright, so this week on The Den, we're supposed to be rocking our Halloween costumes. Now, unfortunately, as you can see, once again, I clearly let you guys down. I don't have my costume yet. I've been a busy motherfucker, and I haven't had time. I have no idea what I want to be. Usually, I'm the type of guy that just goes to the store, and I find one, and I just rock with it. I'll make sure that I'll get a picture, and I'll post it to The Den page on Facebook when I actually get one. Maybe I'll do what straight girls do, and I'll be like a slut plus, you know, some sort of head accessory. You know, you gotta fucking love it. You put on, like, cat ears, you're a cat. You put on mouse ears, you're a mouse now. Put on a little white hat and you're a nurse. Better yet, since I wear the glasses, I could just carry around a little ruler and be a teacher. And then just wear that with, like, lingerie, right? That's what they do. Isn't that the idea? I don't know about anybody else, but I hate girls that do that. Not because they're dressing like sluts. I actually feel like they should feel empowered if they want to dress like that. That's awesome. I respect it because, you know what? They believe in their body and they believe in themselves and they want to show it off. Awesome. Go for it. I do it too sometimes. But I think to call it an actual costume defeats the whole purpose. There's no creativity that goes into it. It's not really all that much fun. And I get that I'm kind of a hypocrite in that way, but I just do it to get drunk, so don't get mad at me. Um, really, though, uh, Halloween is just a assigned topic that we're supposed to be talking about. I want to get a little heavy with you guys. Yeah, I've, I, I've got something a little bit more important that I need to address that's been going on right now in the world, and I need to talk about it. Last Wednesday in Ottawa, Quebec, Canada experienced a tragedy of sorts. Apparently, on a Wednesday morning, somebody woke up and decided to go up onto a rooftop and start shooting into the street. Though a number of people were injured, only one person was actually killed. That person was Officer Nathan Cirillo. He was standing guard uh, on duty at work at a war memorial on Parliament Hill in Ottawa. Apparently after firing several shots, the perpetrator, who shall go unnamed, ran towards Parliament Hill and was eventually gunned down by Sergeant at Arms uh, Kevin Vickers, who's a long-standing officer. I guess he's a known badass. There was this whole scene where he like dove out from behind a pillar and rolled and like shot him a couple times. He had no idea how many people there were or where they were or anything. He was just ready to rock. Yeah, a guy was shot in the street in Canada. Though that does happen sometimes, you know, we've had a couple school shootings over the past few years. It still hits home every time something like this happens, you know. Um, we live in a pretty fucked up world. You may have seen, you know, people posting on Facebook about it. A lot of people circulated a response that was uh, put up by this guy. What was his name? Russell Maloney or Mahoney or whatever, something like that. Uh, talking about how the killer should go unnamed, that this guy shouldn't be glorified. I totally agree with that. I'm totally on board. Also, you've been hearing a lot of stuff, especially like Fox News and a little bit even on CNN, about our recent involvement with the conflict pertaining to ISIS. I don't really know about that. I think that might be pushing it a little bit. They seem to draw this conclusion because this man was a recently converted Muslim. Maybe? I doubt it, you know? Um, apparently he was also suffering from some sort of unnamed mental disorder. I've been looking it up, I've been looking around, I can't find anything that says exactly what it was, but apparently there was something. I think the word terrorist or terrorism is thrown around a lot by the media because it draws in viewers, you know, you get people freaked out, so they're always watching the news, they want to know what happens, so everybody's checking it out. I think that's really what we're dealing with mostly a lot of propaganda is blown out of proportion and this is unfortunate since this happened parliament's been passing new security motions left and right they're going to be you know there's increased surveillance increased spending in you know defense and all of this sort of shit you know uh you hear the word like militarized police thrown around a lot especially like john oliver did a really good piece on that if anybody saw that it's disturbing you know um they're going to be dumping a whole bunch of money into this now and I don't know what's going to happen. Don't think that this was some planned ISIS attack. I don't think that this was some, like, sleeper guy that was planted here waiting to just, you know, come out and just take a crack at our prime minister. I don't think that's what was what we're dealing with. Um, I think, yes, there are bad people in the world, and yes, there are definitely people in Canada that probably sympathize with ISIS. Just like there's people in Canada that probably sympathize with the KKK. But, you know, we don't call it a blatant attack on Canadian soil when the KKK go and beat somebody to death, so I don't see why there's this much of a reaction to it if anybody saw the russell brandt piece um he did a like a 15 minute bit where he analyzed uh newscasts and they were all pertaining to this shooting that happened and 
raised some really interesting points about how they're using this to essentially scare the population into believing that we're in danger and that we need help like the little headlines ticking across the bottom of the screen on like when the news is on tv like obama is sending aid to canada or trying to do what he can to send help in this time of need we got it you know it's been it was shut down already we're not in danger we're not being attacked you know really if shit does hit the fan we've always got you know jtf2 and they're pretty good at cleaning up the united states mess all the time anyway i just i really think that you know they're trying to incite panic in people and they're trying to make people afraid and then yeah i really need to shut down some misconceptions or i feel like i need to do my part and say my piece on it because this is how you end up with you know 1984 style big brother you know watching you because you're afraid you know and you don't really mind it when they put cameras up on the street corners because they might you know catch the guy that shot you know cirillo oh awesome great we got him that's great but hey we're just gonna leave them up there yeah surveillance yeah why not hey it's safety it's good for you you know, what do you guys believe? Do you think that I am wrong here? Do you think that, you know, we should let the government have free reign and do what they need to to shut this shit down? Do I need to be worried about, you know, Canada's involvement overseas and that ISIS could really pose a potential threat to us? Let me know what you think. Or if talking about all that shit's really not your bag, you can tell me what you think I should dress up as for Halloween if you have any good ideas because I really don't have any right now. Um, last year I went out as a... Uh, a priest and a rabbi, me and my friend, did a duo costume, and we went out to a bar, so we kept telling everybody we were a priest and a rabbi, walks into a bar, and... Alright, everybody, so thank you for watching. Uh, make sure you check out all of our shit. It's cool. I don't have to put it on the screen anymore, and I don't have to tell you to check it out and subscribe, because I got this awesome video to do it. Alright! <laughs>